We talked earlier about the show of support for Central District Health as board members consider approving a revised public health order. One of the supporters told our Joe Paris, there are thousands and thousands of us who are doing the right things to protect each other. And he's right. There are thousands of people doing the right thing right now. And for Northwest Nazarene University, doing the right thing has helped them keep classes face to face. NNU will finish this fall semester this Thursday, just as they started in person, with the exception of just one week of remote learning. How are they able to do that? Well, when almost all other universities in Idaho haven't. Well, screening certainly has helped. As we told you back in September, NNU has been using a saliva direct test to screen asymptomatic students and faculty at least once a week. The saliva direct screening helps the school identify any prevalence of COVID on campus and to look for any hot spots among students or staff. School leaders found a hot spot emerging in early November and responded quickly by moving classes online for one week. But more importantly than the screenings was the behavioral changes among students and staff. NNU's Vice President for Academic Affairs told us simple behavior changes like wearing a mask or distancing yourself allowed them to stay face to face. He says students fo followed the protocols because, well, they wanted to stay on campus to be with their friends and to learn in the classroom. If there's something that I want to communicate to the wider community, uh, behaviors change um, outcomes. And the fact that we've had 100% uh, kind of compliance in terms of wearing face coverings uh, where appropriate and uh, the social distancing, you know, all those things are, are, are challenges for us and they're not where we want to be. But in this moment, uh, facing the kind of enemy we're facing, um, those behaviors have helped us stay face to face and deliver the traditional kind of instruction that we want to deliver. And, you know, if I was going to say something in the wider community, it is possible to stay open, to have sort of business close to normal if you just do a few simple things like keep your distance, wear a face covering when appropriate, and uh, things will be okay. We do think we figured out how to do it on our campus, and we think the, the behaviors are making a difference, and we'd encourage other people to, to pay attention to um, basic things we can do to be good neighbors to each other. And I think that's, you know, if I want to emphasize stuff, um, we are Northwest Nazarene University. We're a faith-based institution, mm -hmm. and our primary obligation is to love God and love our neighbor. And mm -hmm. we think loving our neighbor means uh, being careful in our behavior so we're not going to spread the disease to them. And uh, mm -hmm. carefulness has made a big difference for us, and I think it can make a big difference in our wider community as well. Well, Kurt Schaub certainly isn't suggesting NNU is better than the other higher ed institutions in Idaho. He was humble in his response. And NNU has fewer students, for sure, and staff to keep track of. He is, however, reminding us of what can happen when people think of others instead of themselves when they do the right thing.